Hello, my name is John Bernard, the Superintendent of Schools in North Reading, and I'd like to welcome you to this episode of Inside NRPS. My guest today is Ms. Carla Lister, who is the Curriculum Specialist for the Performing Arts across our school district. Carla, welcome. Thank you for having me today. I appreciate you taking the time to be with me today and to be our guest and to talk a little bit more about your work in the North Reading Public Schools, your wonderful work that you do, and to help educate the community further about what's going on in the performing arts world across our schools. So thank you. I appreciate you being here. Thank you for having me. So, Carla, you have a bit of a mouthful of a title, a Curriculum Specialist for Performing Arts. And before I ask you to, to talk a little bit more about uh, what that role is for the school department, I, I think it's important to acknowledge that it, that is a, an additional role that you have in addition to being a full-time music teacher in our middle school, um, which is certainly something that in and of itself would keep you very busy. But yes. uh, So you've taken on this additional responsibility, a position which you've had for quite a while now as the Curriculum Specialist for Performing Arts, and I would appreciate it if you could just talk to uh, the community and to me a little bit about what your responsibilities are in that role as well. Okay. Well, so as K-12 Performing Arts Curriculum Coordinator, I'm in charge of making sure that our curriculum is aligning and um, and scaffolding from kindergarten all the way up to high school. Um, not only in the general music for elementary, middle school, and high school, but also for the performances of the band and the chorus. So band, chorus, you also do pretty extensive work in theater, which we'll talk yes. a little bit as well today. Um, that's kindergarten through grade 12, mm -hmm. all five of our schools. All five. Um, that's a pretty pretty hefty load. Yes, there's lots going on. There are. As you know, our performing arts programs on at, at every elementary school, the middle school and the high school are just flourishing and growing by leaps and bounds. They really they really have and I think that's a nice segue for me to to um, talk a little bit more about some of the work that has gone on over the last few years and I think Anybody who has been fortunate enough to attend a, a choral performance or a theater performance in our district has really been treated to something, um, dare I say, professional. I mean, I think the quality of what you folks are putting out um, as a staff in, in theater and performing arts and music is something that I think is a great, a great and significant source of pride in our community. And you, you have to be congratulated for that. Well, because you. You, and, and I know it's not a job you do alone, but certainly... Um, you have a lead role in that work and you should feel very, very good about that. And so we have some things coming up. I know yes. it's, um, we're taping this show today on November 16th and, and it's, you know, we're going into the holiday season. Maybe mm -hmm. you could talk to us a little bit about um, what's on the horizon in the next few months for, for performing arts. Well, coming up very soon is, of course, the musical at the high school, which they're doing Shrek this year. Um, we're all very excited. The best thing about having a shared space at the new high school and middle school is that our drama kids get to walk by and see what the high school is doing every mm -hmm. day and how um, the set is growing and building, how the students that are performing on stage, how they're starting out with their scripts and just learning the lines to where they, where they are yeah. when they perform. Um, so that will be coming up very soon. Um, and then after that, of course, we hit the concert season with right. a full day performance at the little school that they do from preschool on up to fifth grade performing band and chorus and all the classes do a wonderful performance. The Batch and both The Hood have amazing chorus and band concerts that happen mm. at their schools. They, they put on two concerts a day. Um, one, for, of course, for all the kids in the school, and then one at night for the parents. Right, right. Yep. And then our middle school concert, and then high school band and chorus concert. Leading right up into the, the holiday Right week. up to the holiday, yeah. right to the very last second, That's we're great. on stage performing. You, know, you so. mentioned about the, the shared space of the middle high school, and I'd like to, maybe if we could just talk about that a little bit, because where, where my office is in that building, and I, I have kind of a first-hand view into a lot of what um, goes on uh, in both schools mm -hmm. on the one campus and in and, and performing arts even just this week as as I was in the school and to see um, the ability of the high school performance being prepped in the Performing Arts Center a beautiful beautiful space um, and we have the Main Street Corridor which I see you now we are we're, we're, we're trying to jockey for all different uses of the space and you and we're going to talk a little bit I hope about about the work that you're doing with a play for um, the middle school coming up with the Adams family, but to have that that dual space, uh, dual use space of Main Street, and you're mm -hmm. out there 
prepping your kids, working on rehearsal while the high school is in the Performing Arts Center, and I, su I assume the the uh, the jockeying is because their performance is before yours. That's They're coming right, up yes. the end of end of November, early December. Um, sell out shows. I'm, I'm yes, seeing too. Yes, already. Yeah, I, I've... Get your tickets if if you haven't Even already. Quickly. But that space has really, and the community invested a significant amount of, of both money and energy into into bringing us the the beautiful middle high school that we have, and that space has really. Um, in my opinion, I, I, I'm not sure, I hope you agree, that it really has been another contributing factor into where our, our theater arts uh, program performances have gone. Do you agree? Oh, and, I agree completely. Mm -hmm. um, we had a, a wonderful little theater program, uh, performing arts program, right, going on at the middle school mm -hmm. before I moved up. And then once we entered the shared space, it has just exploded. Um, we prepped ourselves when the high school first started, and we decided, for the middle school at least, that we'd do the Wizard of Oz, and right. we went all out for that. Um, and it just keeps growing and upon each other. And mm -hmm. um, I have to say, with the shared space, it's it's been such a wonderful family experience for the performing arts, um, not only as staff members, but also with the kids because we're all supporting each other. And right. I know the middle school kids really love the fact that the high school is walking around and gets to see them perform. And, sure. um, and you know, we all get together and go to the show to see the yeah, high school They have school an opportunity perform. to see what they're headed yes, for in the high do. school. Yeah. And it just excites win -win. them. They can't wait. My tech kids, they're so excited to move up to the high school to start working sure. on the big productions. Yeah. And, um, so it's and they know the crowds that those productions are drawing. Yes. I mean, the, the high school performance is going to have four four performances, Sold sell out, out sell yes. out shows. Mm -hmm. We probably could add more if we wanted. I'm sure, you know? she and, could. And the middle school, I mean, the middle school and elementary programs mm -hmm. that I've seen are just of such a high quality. It's yes, it's really I'm impressive. I mean, I think my experience is that different communities, different school districts have things that are great sources of pride, mm -hmm. and and in some communities. Athletics takes a, a pretty significant, um, you know, role in, in terms of the source of pride that, right. that a community might have in particular. Um, in North Reading, and it's really come over a relatively short period of time, I think, the trajectory of success of, of performing arts has been pretty significant. And, and I think for our community, when I, when I come to a show and you're walking out and you're listening to people talk or, or they're speaking to me directly about what they just saw, it's it's pretty amazing. It really is. I mean, I think I think anyone that has come to a show should and could feel very good about where their ta tax dollars have gone I agree. and the kind of product that that we're putting out. And it and it happens in other areas too. You know, we recently in October held a first STEAM night, mm -hmm. science, celebrating science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. Something we hadn't done before. Um, I think our our district has had. Great success in athletics. We do well academically, but the, the theater arts, I think, really has tapped into something very, very special. You know, you mentioned a minute ago about how the family experience, and it's mm -hmm. funny when I, I feel like I've gone to a lot of shows over the now 16 years that I've worked in North Reading, and I tend to see a lot of the same people at the performances. Mm -hmm. And in some cases, in many cases, it's family members whose children have just now progressed through. It might be the third third or fourth child, right. second, third or fourth child, maybe. But it's also just residents of the community that continue to come out. And it's it's pretty special. It really is. And you should be, you know, you should be applauded for that. And, and your staff, you work, you know, you work with a number of teachers. I know a number of volunteers mm, who many. really give an awful lot of themselves. And for them to at the end, I can only imagine when there's a breakup, you know, cast party or just we're all kind of tired in the back room of the Performing Arts Center, that there's this great sense of satisfaction mm -hmm. and with good reason. Well, and you know, um, you're only as good as the people that, oh. are, that you're <laughs> surrounded with. And I true. am so, so blessed to yeah. have amazing people that I work with. <laughs> um, they just... They are ready to go at the drop of a hat. Yeah. And what do you want? How can we do this better? How can we make it more? Mm -hmm. What can we give back to the kids? And how can we make this experience just grow for them? Yeah. Um, they are just so willing to just keep going. To and, keep giving. And just, yes. yeah, give, give, and, give. Yeah. And the parents, it, we could not do this no. without their help. I am so fortunate to have... I'm surrounded by some amazing parents that just give everything they have. 
Informally and formally. Yes. I mean, you, you have two um, booster support mm -hmm. organizations, Friends of Hornet Productions, which is largely dedicated to middle school, correct? Right. And then the Music Boosters, which mm -hmm. is kind of cro across the K -12. board. K-12. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, but, you know, a, a pretty significant focus when students get to the high school and the band right. performance and all, but certainly, you know, representative of the district. And that's kind of the formal, you know, the formal role. And right. it's significant. I mean, oh, their, yes. their contributions of not just resources, but, you know, kind of the moral support that goes along with it, but the financial piece, too, right. that supplements what we're able to do as, as a community, as a school district, is is pretty significant. Do you agree? Oh, completely. And again, some of those folks have been around for years. For years yeah, doing this. Yeah, you see the yes. same faces, just same names. For yeah. years. And then, you know, they, they start with me and then move on um, with the Friends of Hornet Productions at the middle school. And, you know, now they've gone up with high school yeah. and are supporting up there, yeah. um, you know, and the music boosters. Some of the those parents, we had, you know, Mrs. Lasden, her daughter, since she was with right. Chris that's at the little school, around. and yeah, now yeah. she's graduating this year. Yeah. Um, you know, and the Garnises, um, yeah. it's just amazing, it is. these parents, that they just go all in and, and help support us all the way through. And I think you and others that you work with um, have been very strategic, and I'm sure it's by design, but some of the performances you've done um, both middle school and high school productions, as well as some really, mm -hmm. really, really good performances in our elementary programs, have put the hook in younger children. Oh yes, to see or 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 even combined their with their work with older students mm -hmm. by whether it was Peter Pan as an example, or you know, just having younger students as part of the performances and, and continuing to do that, I think has given a great inspiration to them to say. Okay, now the hook is, I didn't really know if this was for me, but now the hook is in me. I'm around all of these older kids who are just, you know, such great mentors for them. And to say, now I'm, I'm in theater for, you know, if I'm a fourth or fifth grader, I'm in it now for, you know, the Until next the eight years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just to, to know what's coming. And, and the work that, when I was a high school principal, more than even now as the superintendent, and, and in the old high school, my office was right, right alongside the auditorium, the hours the kids and staff are there. I mean, late, late nights, oh, you know, yes. continuously. And, you know, often it's, you know, it can be the athletics get a lot of glory because people see them out on the fields mm -hmm. when they're driving by. Not a lot of people have a view into what the commitment is of those those kids and those teachers working, you know. That's right. You don't at, see it. Well into the, you know, yes. the late hours oh, of the, the late night. Hours. Yeah. Some nights that we put and for in. for weeks and, and weeks and weeks yeah. on end. It's really, but the, in the end, I mean, Anytime you see that, they're always laughing. There's always a smile, and you know, yep. I don't know. Some of it's probably smiles of exhaustion, just because they're they're ready to give out. But boy, it's quite a, quite an experience. And when I think about some of the students that have gone on um, after graduation from mm -hmm. high school and pursued, whether it's in technical theater, um, it's, it's it's a significant yes. number. You know, just just this fall, I saw Andy Ty. Right, yes. we all know Andy Ty. He's yep. performing in the North Shore Music Theater now. He's in New York. I mean, just. Lauren Zackler, these are all names of kids from the past that, you know, just are, have gone on. And I, right. I, I, I don't think it's a, an under, you know, an under, a, an underestimation to say that their, their start was in, you know, Little North Reading. Right here. You know, here they are now, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. That's right. Well, last year alone, we sent, I believe it was seven students to performing arts theatrical schools. There you go. Um, and some are for just <clears throat> music, but, um, you know, and, and others are, doing theater and music. We um, you know, have one young lady who's going um, so she can be a writer a, a, for play scripts. And it's, great. Um, it's just amazing yeah. to yeah, watch it really, them go it on. It really is amazing, yeah. It's, it's great, it's really, the rewards are there. Carla, we had a change um, recently after many years of Eric Foreman as our band director. Mm -hmm. you know, I worked with Eric for many, many years. Good, good person, good, good band director, but he, he chose to retire, and yes. I know you were intimately involved with his re, uh, re, in hiring his replacement. Um, how's it going with our, our new band director? Oh, wonderful. Mr. Owens has been, he's just fallen right into place. It's, um, we miss Eric, but Ben has come in and just taken over and exploded. The kids mm. are so excited to go down to band, um, you know, and, and, and meet him. So even the kids that are not in band, you know, want to see who's the new band mm -hmm. director, who's, um, and it's just, it's exciting. It is exciting. It is exciting to see the, you know, different strides going and, and how he's um, just taking the position and making it his own. That's great. Um, so we're 
it's wonderful to have him here. Mm, yeah. um, and we really look forward to the years to come, what they did this year and marching band and um, mm -hmm. just he's putting his own signature yeah, on the play. done a lot in a short period of time. Yes, he has. Yeah. Yes, he has. I, 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 the first home football game in September when I was leaving, and I saw he was playing Sweet Caroline. Yes, you know, Sweet as, as Caroline. Getting, getting, you know, the Boston, the, the Boston mm -hmm. uh, With the high spirit schoolers singing yeah. along with him. You know, the I thought, okay, this guy gets it. You yes. Know, he, he's, and he's local. He's from Reading, I believe, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah so he, he knows certainly our area. But uh, that's good. I'm glad you're pleased. Certainly yes. from what I've, what I've seen. Uh, and we get the choral concert coming up, the band, band is performing yes. in, in, in and December. And he has and um, a group of students that are also performing in the pit for Shrek great. that he's been working with. I did not know that. Yeah, That's so great. we'll have student performers in the pit awesome. this year. So we're excited about that. And we haven't talked about your work with the Adams Family. We've talked yeah. a lot about the high school musical. Right. You, you yeah, well, are, it's next. You I, mentioned it a little bit. So what's going on I can see the dragon there? for Shrek. I'm so excited <laughs> to go see the dragon. When are, when are those performances for the community? The um, Adams Family is in the very beginning of February. So it's February 2nd and 3rd. Great. First Friday and Saturday. Great. So we have 73 students in the cast and then another 23 that are in crew, largest crew really? we've ever had. So you've got almost um, 100 middle school yes, students involved. it's really exciting. Boy. And that's why we're out on Main Street. We don't have a place big enough to have yeah. them all dancing around. Yeah, so speak you. Yes. Those of us who remember the TV show, that's, you know, the, when I hear that theme going. <laughs> we're all starting <laughs> yeah, to snap. Exactly, yes. right, right. No, it's that's funny, great. we've done a lot of research and I've had the kids sit down and watch some scenes from the old black and white <laughs> Adams family. Because they don't, a lot of them no. don't know it. Right. So bringing it out and, that's and they're starting to embody those different sure. characters which is great that's awesome that's great good for so, you yes we're very excited and the kids just like the um high school we try to really let them um be the masters of the show i have three students that run the technical aspect that are in charge of designing and creating and um and mm. then you know working with miss o'brien who is my theater tech advisor and um painting all the sets and helping put them together. And right. um, I have some amazing young ladies who do all the choreography for me. They're eighth grade dancers. Um, and so I don't have to worry about breaking my ankle, trying to dance around on the floor. They do it all for us. And um, it's just been a lot of fun. That's good. And you'll be ready for February. Of course you will. The show, yes, will, the we show will. will go on, right? <laughs> That's right. That's great. <laughs> Anything else you want to tell us about? Any, I want to, any, any other promotional uh, well, messages or just things you want to talk about in your work? Let's see. This weekend, you know, talking about our friends of Horner Productions, we have our big marketplace, holiday marketplace coming up on Saturday. <clears throat> so we're excited excited about that. That's Great. our big fundraiser mm -hmm. for um, the school year. And it's essentially a craft fair. It is. It's a food. wonderful craft fair. Yeah. I love it because I will get all of my holiday shopping done Great. on Saturday. This is so. year three, four? This is year four. Four. Wow. Yes. Boy. Mm. Very exciting. That's great. And again, so. Friends of Horner Productions. Yep. Parent volunteers. Mm -hmm. putting drawing in the course. community. That's putting right. on a nice event. Again, the, the new middle high school, that Main Street yeah, car. Main it gets Street all decorated. So and just it's a fantastic use of the space. That's and right. We take full advantage of it, the middle school kids mm -hmm. do, and we'll be out there performing and singing and dancing. For so them. when an event like that happens, and, and I know it's a, a booster organization, mm -hmm. support organization, what, what kinds of things um, uh, is the department able to do from the, the, the results of that a fundraising event like that? So where, where does the money go? How do you use that money? Well, um, the money is split up between um, helping out Miss O'Brien in the art department and her after-school art program. She has several of them that go on. Mm -hmm. um, they help Miss Cineretti with the TV video. Video production so, um, and such, anything yeah. extra that Miss Cineretti would like or, or need so for they may program. So they may help to buy certain pieces of equipment. Certain equipment. Um, I know they helped to purchase um, radios so that she could keep in contact ki yep. with kids as what, they like moved around the school. Like a walkie-talkie yeah. um, With the musical, they help purchase any big set pieces that mm -hmm. we need to um, create. Um, they Last year, they purchased a beautiful sound system, portable sound system for us mm -hmm. with... Um, but now we have new microphones mm -hmm. um, to use with that. Might they contribute to like a field trip? Oh, field trip. Expense. Every year yeah. they send um, over 100 student, middle school students down to see a musical in go. Boston. We get to go out for the night and, and, um, and watch a musical. Last year, 
let's see, we've seen Wicked, Matilda, we saw um, Maria last year as Sound of Music. Um, so we're excited for what might be coming up in the spring. So some pretty significant things mm -hmm. that are purchased or yes, they acquired. Do. Yep, they and for the musical, that's that is something huge because that's buses, it's tickets. Right, they help right. subsidize. They also um, try to bring in an actor or actress from that yep. musical that does a mm -hmm. workshop with the students, which is great. That's really neat. They get to so, students get to interact, yes, have conversation, interact ask and, questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, learn a little bit about what it means so, to be a an professional actor. Act, or, yeah, yes, because yeah, exactly. that's you know ultimately a yeah. lot of them are thinking maybe that's where I'm going to sure. end up going, and so they get to talk to someone who's living that life firsthand. That's great. So it's wonderful and. We've been so lucky with this particular um, program that we do because the actors or actresses will come out and see us after the show and sign autographs oh, or, or meet with the kids so yeah, we can that's take a, a big, big deal. picture. That's good. It's that great. is good. So. Well, Kyler, I have to tell you, um, and I, I don't know if you know this, but I often will refer to you as a Pied Piper. I don't know if I've ever, I don't know if I've ever said that in front <laughs> no. of you, but I have said it, and I'll say it now because you really are. I, I, I have the good fortune of... Uh, being uh, a first-hand witness to what you do and, you. and others too but you're sitting in this chair right now <laughs> so it's kind of about you right now and I have to tell you the work that you do is is not only appreciated but it is pretty special and Thank you should you. feel very very good about what you're providing um, the children the students with it's an experience that I know is forming memories for them things that they'll remember for the rest of their lives you know I have to think like all good teachers you know you're 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 piquing their interest in something that um, they might not, not otherwise have experienced and I think it's largely due to who you are and what you are that does that. I think, I think kids have found um, you know, a good and loyal role model in you and someone you. who has really inspired them and, and that's, that's, um, that's not something to be you know, overlooked for mm -hmm. sure. So congratulations. You, the work thank that you, you do is, um, is fantastic and you should feel very good about that. And I congratulate you and I thank you for that. So is there any other, anything else you'd like to offer as a parting word? Or? No, just keep supporting our kids keep and what they're doing the and, and uh, um you know i always think i'm i'm one of the luckiest people in the world to be teaching the subject that i get to teach mm. because um it is within the language of music and theater that we get to help our students express who they are yeah. and who they want to be and they can feel comfortable with that and um and we're it's a safe place mm -hmm. um, for all students for all of them all, and you know, that's it's great um you can be super talented or you can be or, just, you know, yes, I just want to be around the fun and get be involved there. and try and, and you know, and, and everybody's kind of. And we want everyone. Yeah, everybody's and open arm, you know, welcome. That's right. Yeah, that's great. So, so thank good you for you. Thank you. For letting us thank have you. that opportunity. Appreciate it. And thank you for being my guest today. And thank you all for joining us.